like we would our, our wall, just like this, and then sealed it with the masonry sealer, and then put the water on it, and it doesn't penetrate, you know, a drop. And then, as you all know, that they've also had one of these blocks under in the lake for how many months now? Rob, tell your lake story out there. The rope in the lake. My brother lives in McAllen, and uh, he's along Osaka, and uh, all probably five months ago now, I told him to. Uh, he's got a little dock there, and I, I said, take a block down there and pitch it off in the lake and tie it off the pier. And uh, so it took about three days, I think, finally to kind of submerge and hang there. And he's pulled it out oh, numerous times and let it sit back on the dock for two, three days and put it back in. And uh, the block didn't show any sign of deterioration, did not break, you know, crumble, nothing. Can't even put your pocket knife in uh, a quarter of an inch. He's tried to, he's yeah. gone in maybe about an eight, sixteenth to an eighth of an inch. And after it dries again, it's right back to the. It doesn't, it doesn't absorb any more than that. That's pretty amazing. Highway yeah. department want a sign or sign was in the roadway. In the roadway? Couldn't be there? I had to move it in. Get up a little closer up there. Yeah, y'all yeah, go. What are, what, are, what, are, what are we shooting at? Is this an actual section of our wall that has been plastered like you would uh, you in your house? This is one we used to take for demonstrations and shows and everything. So in essence, we've got our blocks turned 14 inches thick and then plastered. So that's exactly what your wall would look like. Or a 10. Or a 10. Or a 10. And some of you guys who haven't seen yet, I've got an example on the other side we might as well see before we blow this wall up. Of, uh, of how you do uh, you know, an wiring. example of wiring. wiring. You take your chainsaw, right. the force plaster, just cut your trench, leave your box stubbed out the thickness of your plaster, okay. and you plaster around it. That's ready for a switch, right a plug, here. anything. And then if you ever have any trouble with your wiring, that sleeves out because we've got it sleeved. Screws, you screw right into this stuff. You can't get it out. Well, is any standard drywall screw? Yeah, any standard, exactly. Exactly. That's just a standard drywall okay. screw there. And you, just and you can use that plastic or the steel. Or steel. Oh yeah, you don't have to. You don't have to use this type of conduit. You know, they, they yeah, make the, the flex, the, 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 the steel, or actually the aluminum yeah. uh, yeah. conduit that you can use. And actually, the main thing is you don't even have to use conduit. If you want to use like UF wire, as long as it's the UF wire that doesn't have the paper in it, uh, it, it what the, and what what that is is for underground. It's able to yeah, accept moisture. So I mean, that wiring runs great. You don't have to have any conduit. You just go through there and zigzag and cut your trenches. I want to switch here. I want to plug here. You know, put the wiring in, plaster over it, done. Simple. Same thing with plumbing. This is just a cylinder. Round cylinder for a post or something. Yeah, we just had actually a five gallon bucket just full of our material. We thought would make a heck of a target. <laughs> These right here, we've been doing kind of some air conditioner pads. The guys around here love them uh, because it, 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 for an air conditioner, it gives a little bit of insulation. They're lightweight. It gives a little bit of vibration, so it helps keep your air conditioner system quiet. So we've been pouring some big ones, and they've been, uh, Zach, they've been using them. I, I, have we experimented, or are we going to experiment to see what, uh, if it, would this be too heavy, I guess, for a uh, roof? Oh, not at all. We're, I figure even in a skinnier magnitude would possibly work, and then plastered over, done. Work out great. They don't have to be this size. This is just kind of proving sure. uh, the fact that anything that we put this into mold and design-wise would, would work. And I would love to be able, as a system, you know, to get this all, you know, all the same material. Yeah, absolutely. And our goal with some of our testing and things is to eliminate a lot of the steel, you know, get it as much out of this material as possible. Anytime you use like materials, you know, your bonding is so much better. Sure. Uh, your strength, integrity, everything there is so much better. Sure. I can do better than that. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, Daddy's still living. <laughs> Take an armrest and knock this off or something, bro. <laughs> a shoulder mount, that's right. Shoulder, <laughs> shoulder <laughs> mount. What did it do, guys? You're about an inch in. Is that all? Yeah, you can see yeah. your you can see I your bullet see right your there. Bullet. Twenty yards away with a thirty-eight? Yeah. To me that's impressive, huh? That is very impressive. You're able to cut into that then, right? once the bullet goes through. Yeah, just because the bullet has done the initial penetration. Break my blade. I don't guess I hit that round, did I? Oh, well. Well, it's time to go to the houses now.
Yeah. Do some eating. Now to uh, down here. Okay. Okay. That'll work out perfect. That's uh, it. Doesn't. It's not going to penetrate anything. Whether you do a ten or a fourteen. Exactly. You're going an inch in. That's the assault rifle? Actually, that's the assault yeah. rifle. Did it go through? Yeah. No. Back. You can come around and look at the back. No, there's nothing in the back. Didn't come through. Some of these we were firing at it yesterday. We fired yesterday from the back, but nothing came through. That SKS is right here. Wow. So. Nothing. Hmm. That's an unbelievable shot.